Dear participants, let me extend to you my warmest greetings from Strasbourg. I very much welcome the organization of this Knowledge Network conference for three main reasons. First, because the Council of Europe is a network builder. The Council of Europe is actually made of many networks. Networks of governments, of parliaments, of local authorities, of human rights defenders, of NGOs and of professionals in the field of justice, education, culture, youth, health, family and social policies. In our work on children's rights, we have brought all these networks together and achieved important results. This includes the development of new working methods, partnerships and communication tools to create a more inclusive, dynamic, visible, sustainable and effective platform in Europe for the promotion of children's rights. The second reason is that the Council of Europe is a huge depository of knowledge and expertise. For more than 60 years, the Council of Europe has been promoting human rights, democracy and the rule of law across Europe, playing an important role in securing the legal protection of the rights of 150 million children in 47 countries. Our standards and policy guidelines, the results of our monitoring work, our assistance activities and our training and awareness raising tools touch upon a huge number of topics. These include topics such as the rights of children in vulnerable situations, positive parenting, human rights education, child participation, child-friendly justice, health care and social services, the elimination of sexual violence and corporal punishment, children and the media, to name but a few. The third and last reason is that we rely on partners to bring the results of our work closer to people. The Council of Europe has developed a vision for a European children's rights agenda. The draft Council of Europe strategy on the rights of the child for 2012-2015 proposes a series of actions to translate this vision into reality. To help us build a child-friendly Europe, we propose you to invest in three areas. First, to promote access to and implementation of children's rights. Second, to support a culture of respect for children's rights, challenging public opinion when need be and defending a zero tolerance of violence policy. And third, to intensify networking and mobilize all social actors around the children's rights cause. It will be important to develop creative ways of allowing children to participate in the work. Dear participants, I very much welcome the initiative Children Platform, Piattaforma Infanzia, the first multimedia library on children in Italy. We will be pleased to share with this platform the tools and expertise the Council of Europe has developed. Thank you for your attention and I wish you a very successful conference.